Good afternoon. Welcome to Four Acres. Today's project. A while ago, when it was still warm and sunny, Heather and I put this tarp up here to protect our firewood from rain and snow and ice. We used a staple gun, which was not the right choice. And I always thought, oh, I'll go and put some wood strips along afterwards just to hold it all in place. Never did that. And as you can see, the rain and snow and ice knocked the tarp down. So today's project is to take some wooden slats I have from an old bunk bed and tack up this tarp so that it keeps all the wood dry and isn't flapping in the wind. Uh, I don't have a whole heck of a lot of sunlight left. Look, the sun is pretty on the hills behind me. That's east and that is west. And so I need to move quickly before it gets dark. Let's get to it. <laughs> Downside to doing it this way is I don't really know which way the water is going to flow. Originally, I'd wanted the water to come off here, but I didn't want this right here at the bottom to be a giant pile of ice all the time. So I was thinking the water would flow that way. I don't really know what's going to happen. I think we just wait and see, and then this spring I can redo it. All right, let's tackle tarp number two. Not pretty, but it'll keep the tarp, getting attacked by an apple tree. It'll keep the tarp up and allow me to get to the firewood and keep things dry from the rain and any snow melting on the deck. So all in all, a successful quick project here at Four Acres. For now though, I think we're gonna call it good. Now that I can get to the firewood, let's bring some inside and get dinner going. was amazing. It was a homemade chocolate cake with a homemade espresso frosting that she put together with butter and powdered sugar and instant espresso. It was really, really good. We've reached the end of another episode of Four Acres. Thanks so much for coming along for the ride here in frosty Vermont. I think it's all of zero degrees at the moment. If you made it this far and you liked what you saw, please hit that like button, I'd appreciate it. And if you'd like to see what else we got going on here on our Four Acres and you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Always do the best you can with what you got. And we'll see you around. Take care. Don't eat the spray foam. Don't eat the spray foam. <laughs> hey, hey. It's not a worm. The R value of my chickens is amazing. Let's do it. Get a drink. <laughs>